Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for yet another video. In this presentation, we're going to take a look at how to make sorrel. Now, sorrel is a well-known drink that's produced mostly in the Caribbean around the Christmas time. It's a dried fruit as well as you can make it in its original wet form, fresh form. However, we're going to produce the sorrel with our packet of dried fruit. So, let's get into this video, y'all. <laughs> Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for yet another video. In this presentation, we are going to be making a drink that's named uh, Sorrel. This is what it looks like here. It's a dried out fruit. You can make it in the moist version as well. However, I do have one cup of Sorrel that has been dried out. So what we're gonna do, I also have two leaves of bay leaf. I have 10 uh, sticks of clove. I have some freshly grated ginger here, just a little bit. It was minced, that's about two tablespoons in total. Let's take a cinnamon, which I like to break to infuse it. Once you break cinnamon, it activates it. So I actually try and break it. That one broke pretty nicely. I also have some nutmeg. I'm gonna be using a quarter teaspoon. I have some mixed spice. I'm gonna be using a quarter teaspoon of that as well. So what we're gonna do first step is we're gonna add all our ingredients into our pot, starting with our sorrel, our two leaves of bay leaf, our one stick of cinnamon, 10 sticks of clove, um, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of allspice. And we're also going to add our ginger, our fresh ginger. So we're going to be needing to add some water to it. Um, we're going to be using five cups of boiling hot water. We're going to be adding that directly to this pot before we put it on the stove. And we're going to let that boil on the stove. But first we're going to add our water five cups that was two cups so we're gonna add a so what i did now cups. is i set it on the stove and i'm going to set a timer for 20 minutes once it develops a boil i'm not gonna set my timer now till this actually develops a rolling boil and then we'll time it from there for 20 minutes so that it boils okay so we'll be back in 20 minutes to see what we get but as far as i can tell it's already developing color just by the hot water being added and that's the reason why i do it that way so guys i just wanted to show you when the rolling boil happened i have it on a medium high fire right now so once 20 minutes passes we'll be back to check this and yeah but it's looking like it's doing really well right now and yeah hey we'll also i'm back with the sorrel here that's been boiled and it's still hot it's just cooling now so here i have two cups of white sugar and i'm just gonna pour that up top i usually don't mix it in because it's hot you know so it's bound to melt so i let that be and then i'll be back to mix it a bit in a while but i just let that soak for a while i'll be draining this off when it's cooled so it's down been a lot about more two time. plus hours since we made our sorrel we haven't done anything since we added the sugar to it i haven't even stirred it yet it's obviously gotten super thick and it's super red at this point so it's true to color so what i have set up here now is i have a bowl with a strainer here and the strainer is going to be taking off all the all the stuff from inside of this um so we're just gonna pour it out into the strainer and let it collect all of this mess that was inside all the dried up sorrel and stuff and by the way we're not going to be throwing that out we're actually going to be using this as the base for a cake we're going to be making a sorrel rum fruit cake next <laughs> okay also to the sorrel that was boiling i am going to be adding some rum to it it's been sweetened strained and 
everything like that so now the only thing that's missing is the white rum so I'm just going to be putting one full cup of white rum into the sorrel and we're going to mix that in so I like to bottle my sorrel so basically mind you you can see the nice rich color I got from this but I'm going to be bottling it and um, yeah so that's what I'm doing right now filling up this wine bottle and we'll put this one in the fridge for like when my guests come I can have some to share hey guys so I just wanted to come back and show you the finale of the sorrel it's true to color um, yeah, so it's super red. I just wanted to place it on a plate where you could see the difference. But yeah, it tastes pretty good. It's pretty strong. I didn't add any water or anything to it. I just added um, one cup of rum after I had sweetened it initially and it's perfect. Nothing else is needed and yeah, this is now ready to be saved.